Today we're going to talk about how we're going to tube or let down a calf that bloated. Bloat's a very common problem you can find on feed yards, so being able to do it in a timely fashion is important. When we tube a calf, there's two main things you're going to need. You're going to need a metal speculum. Essentially, it's just a metal hollow tube, and it protects the hosing when we pass it through its mouth to make sure they can't chew on it. And then with the tube itself, this end is curved and is a lot smoother when we're passing it down the esophagus of the animal. This is the end we want to pass. There's also multiple holes inside, so the rumen is full of all sorts of different content. This makes sure that it doesn't plug and we can still effectively release the gas in the rumen. Now on this end, it's larger and flat. So this is gonna be a lot rougher on their esophagus if we were to pass it. So this is what will just be the free end to let the gas off. And this is the one we will make sure goes down the throat. So we're gonna insert our metal speculum into his mouth. But before we do that, I wanna make sure I note that you wanna make sure your animal is well restrained with its head outstretched because any sort of bovine animal can really throw and you can damage your elbow against all of the hard metal of the chute. So you always wanna make sure you tuck your elbow as close to their head as possible. So I take my metal speculum in one hand, open his mouth a little, just enter it in about halfway just to get past his molar so he can't chew on that tubing. Once we have it in about halfway, we're gonna make sure we're using that curved end of the hose that has multiple holes in. And we're gonna just start feeding it through nice and gentle. You don't wanna force it. And we're gonna feed this tube in of over halfway. And then you'll be able to smell the room in knowing that you're in, in the right stomach and not in the trachea. Smell is also a pretty good indication that you're in, that you're down the esophagus and not the trachea. I can smell the rumen fluid in the tubing. Also, you'd start to see their sides start to lessen and shrink down to normal size as well. It's also a good idea to add mineral oil. You can pour it down this same hose, about a half gallon of it on an 800 pound animal to make sure that the bloat doesn't reoccur. So when we remove the tube, we do the exact same process, just nice and gently start pulling the tube out. As you can see, we have some stomach contents in the tubing. And once the tube is completely out, that's when it's safe to remove the speculum from the calf. And that is how you successfully tube a calf.